What's going on, guys? Platinum Cards in the house, and as you know, Ghost from the Past 2 steadily approaches. I believe it's coming out May uh, 3rd, 4th, 5th, something like that. But anyways, I really, really like a lot of the reprints in this, and if you know me, you know I'm cheap as shit, and I've made a lot of different decks, but I've skipped out on a couple really key cards and key pieces to those decks because they were so goddamn expensive. But Ghost from the Past 2, the second haunting, does fix that. So let's take a look at some of my favorite reprints from this set. So the first reprint I think we should all be looking at is Rise of the Mega Monarch. This card was so expensive due to its immense usability in the Flounderese deck. And actually, my brother was running a fake Japanese version of this card because he refused to pay for the original. A fake Japanese, not just a Japanese, not just a fake, but a fake Japanese. Don't worry, he wasn't taking it to tournaments or anything, but just when we were playing it at home. But now he can actually pick this up. Yes, I'm talking to you, you cheap... I'm, I'm going to censor myself there, but... Pick this shit up because I'm sick of playing against a card I can't read. So this card is about $8.55. Uh, last person picked it up for about $8.40. And this is pre-market. So the prices do have the ability to fluctuate. It could go down, could go up. Just depends on how common it is in the set. So, But I would definitely recommend picking this up. Wandering King Wild Win. So if you guys played Red Dragon Archfiend like I do, you know damn well this thing was like 12 to 15 bucks, And it stayed there for the longest time. And thank God it's been reprinted because now pre-market people are buying it for like a dollar thirty, dollar thirty-two, dollar thirty-three. This is definitely something that I've been waiting for, and I'm super excited for it because I get to buff up my Red Dragon Archfiend deck. Next, we got number ninety-seven. I don't even know how to pronounce this thing. Drag Lubion. So if you guys are running any rank eight deck, uh, whether that be Blue Eyes, whether that be Galaxy Eyes, even something like Utopia could actually use this card. Um, you need to pick up this card because it helps you go into number 100, which is just a broken card and enables OTKs. Um, I actually picked this up back in the day, I think for like 10, 15 bucks. But then I looked at the price, like I think a month and a half ago, because I have a couple of different decks and I could use multiple copies. I only have one. Um, and it was like 30 bucks. I was like, dude, I'm not paying 30 bucks for this card when I just paid like 10, 15 bucks for this. Next thing I know, my plot armor kicks in and a reprint is announced. So you guys are welcome. They, uh, that was all me. It wasn't anyone else's doing. It wasn't Konami. It was me. So, and look at this. People are picking this up for as low as 499, 499, three for 499. This is pretty dope. I definitely recommend getting this one as well. Next, we have the Agent of Entropy Uranus. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, guys, next we have Rare Fish. Uh, this card is really, really dope because uh, not only this, but all of the other Ready Fusion and Instant Fusion targets, they were getting kind of up there because they were kind of older cards and no one was really playing them until people discovered you can use them as, you know, Ready Fusion and Instant Fusion targets. And so they never got really reprints like that. So I believe this is the second printing. I could be wrong. Yes, this is the second printing of Rare Fish, but um, this makes it easier and accessible and is in a higher rarity while being cheaper. So it may be worth picking this up as well. I'm definitely excited for these reprints. It's about $1.95 that people are picking it up for. Lastly, we have Quintet Magician. Now, I was in the middle of making a Dark Magician deck, and then I freaking gave up because the extra deck fusion cards were pretty expensive. Thank God Quintet Magician is getting a reprint, so now I can put together the deck again instead of crying and crying and crying and crying. But now it looks like it's about $2.51. It's really way cheaper than it used to be. Hold up. I got to see this. This thing at one point was like 15, 16 bucks. And I refused to pay 15, 16 bucks for a single card. Thank God. Now I can pick it up for like $2. Well, guys, thank you for sitting through and taking a gander of some of my favorite reprints in this entire deck. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear about your favorites in the comments down below. This is Plotter McCard signing out for the day. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do